Good day, everybody. So, uh, don't even know what day it is. I know it's a Monday. Uh, it's coming up to the end of September, and we are in Germany. So, um, we travelled from Getzar in Denmark. Um, we got the ferry over to uh, Rostock in Germany, and just so you're aware that there was no border controls, no uh, nothing. Uh, literally just drove on the ferry, got there a couple, uh, 40 minutes early, straight on, two hour crossing, straight off. And then within five minutes, I'd met up with Greg and Lou, um, who were waiting for me in Rostock. And then uh, we drove off, did a bit of laundry that I needed to do. And then from there, we did a two hour drive or two hour, 30 minutes drive towards the outskirts of Berlin. And that's where we met up with Keith and Lisa uh, Krasta Van Kippers on Instagram, I believe they are. And uh, we stayed here last night uh, at this little park up on the outskirts of Berlin. Uh, our plans for today, uh, <clears throat> we're going to be staying in the Berlin area, all three of us, um, which is quite uh, cool. So we're going to find a inner city air uh, to go and park up after we've done some food shopping, because that's my essential thing that I need to do and then we're going to park up do a few things on the vans clean up admin all that sort of stuff and then our plan is literally to go and explore Berlin uh, things that I would like to do while I'm in Berlin <coughs> the Brandenburg Gate is one the Berlin Wall is another uh, I would like to go and see the Statsy Museum if possible uh, I know that Greg uh, and Keith and all that we all talked about going to see the Brewdog Museum restaurant uh, and have a few Scoobies and then another part for me is to go, I think it's on the outskirts of Berlin, but it's where the the bridge, which was the original bridge from the for the film, The Bridge of Spies, um, that's where they used to do the spy exchange and all that sort of stuff. So I want to go and see those kind of things. Uh, and that's my itinerary for Berlin, I think. And apart from that, I'm just going to enjoy, relax. After Berlin, no idea, but probably heading south to find some mountains and scenic scenery. See you soon. Welcome to the Brandenburg Gate. Thank <laughs> you. 
So a friend of Brandenburg Gate, we walked about 20, 25 minutes and got to check on Charlie. How's Berlin? Well, hello everybody. Uh, long story, very short, hopefully very short anyway. Uh, we were in Berlin yesterday with Krasters Van Camp, or whatever, or I can't remember. Keith and Lisa, um, I can never remember their Instagram. Uh, had an amazing day in Berlin. We left Berlin, we went to find a park up uh, on the way past uh, the Bridge of Spies, and then from there, just decided to know what fuck it we're gonna head towards mountains and we're on our way uh, traveling south two massive big road trips south uh, to get down basically towards Austria and the Dolomites in Italy and all that sort of stuff so we want to find mountains we want to go mountain roads we want to wild camp in mountains and we want to see what's out there so two massive big days of driving in south for germany so that's our adventures at this moment nothing much nothing exciting but it, it is pretty boring on these roads for some reason so you have to try and amuse yourself Good afternoon, uh, everybody. Uh, we have just broken the spine of Germany on an epic drive. There's uh, Mr. Virgo. So we have just done how many kilometers? About 450, about five hours driving, but it's so worth it for this view. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, we have broken the spine of Germany we've come all the way down from where we was last night that whole distance that drive we stopped once and we are here and I'll spin the camera around because to me this is van life this is my idea the dreams that I had in my head of where you would come to visit you'd come to stay you come to park up the things that you would come to see so watch this so you probably can't see on camera, well you maybe can, but right up here, um, paragliding. And uh, uh, over in the distance here, King Ludwig's castle, who's uh, just making a cup of tea for us. Um, somebody's van there, Greg and Lou, and Shaky. And Archibald. This is absolutely stunning and amazing.
big day today. It's a big gutsiest, ballsiest day we we're ever about to have so far on this expedition. We are going to conquer Mount Gutsy. So we're fully equipped. We've got a drone, we've got two GoPros, face mask, and a dog, and a woman. <laughs> <laughs> so in case we get stuck and have to hunker down, we'll slaughter the dog and live off that until we get found. <laughs> So today we're going to go up there, you probably can't see it, but I'll switch the camera around in a minute. Nervous? No, I think it's just, it'll probably be colder up there, but no, I'm, looking for, I'm more nervous about the climb back down than the cable car up. That'll be the easy bit. Yeah. It's going to be cool. So you have to keep watching. Stay tuned to the end of the exercise. If, end of the video in case we don't make it. <laughs> Your turn, Greg. Get this for a view, eh, guys? There's Greg and Lou in the background there doing a little V blogging of the walk down. So today we have literally just taken the cable car up, as you saw in the, probably in the footage. Uh, that cost me 20 euros because obviously I've got a dog. Normally 17 euros, that's for a one way trip. So that's basically just up. Uh, got to the top. We've watched some guys parasailing, paragliding, whatever you call it, jumping off as you probably saw in the video. And now we're just going to take a leisurely walk down back towards the vans to a cafe and get something to eat. Who's going to start running and singing? The hills are alive. Oh, Lord, on hills to lonely, good, lonely, lonely, lonely. <laughs>
So we are about halfway, that is pretty much an epic view that you can see down there and we are now going to take a little break from our walk and go to the little cafe that's here, get a cafe mit milch bitte, yes. nice beer bitte, or grossen beer bitte, <laughs> dankeschön. So I am somewhere on a toboggan in Germany and behind me somewhere is Mr. Virgo. Let's see how this goes, shall we? So we'll set up at the same park up on this, this ride. Uh, 20 euros for six goes on this little course. It's not very long, it's pretty short. By the looks of it, if you get a clear run, you can get some speed up. So um, keep sitting in the same jump word. And in Russian, by the looks of it. Cool. So we're at about halfway up. So still a little bit, a little bit more until we'll let loose. So on this little control here. That's Greg behind me with video in as well, so he's just shouting at me. So on his control here, fully forward is to go fast, back is to break, and it's pretty simple. We shall see. So we're almost at the top. Again. <laughs> So challenge number three for me. Stay in this one. So we did the Kinder toboggan six times. Then we did the uh, Everest ascent of 600 meters of mean altitude. And now this is the two and a half kilometer. Two kilometer coaster. It's at 1,270 meter altitude. There we go. So we are. Challenge today's challenge is to break the land speed toboggan record <laughs> in Germany. So we walk away with the German toboggan national title. <laughs> Come on! Let's see how this goes. 
So there, all the instructions in a different language. You just say about English because they're probably it will probably just mad. But it says for the Americans, drive quickly. Note the brake labels. Do not stop. Do not drive up. So I guess the challenge is to drive quickly. Can you go fast? Uh, that's 50 meters and yeah. over the. Yes, you can go. Thank you. Bye. So, challenge completed. <laughs> Honest, I, and, and you guys are alive, eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, on YouTube, story. yeah. This is it. <laughs> okay. All goes on YouTube, so just say hi to everyone. Hi, I'm from Singapore. So we've just completed the challenge on a scale of 1 to 10. Oh, that ranks up there. Yeah, about at least a 9. Yep. Close to a nine. Yeah. Yeah. nine. Yeah. It's got to be one of the best things we've done so far. Give me ten if if we could go yeah, down all the way, yeah. yeah. non-stop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was amazing. Definitely worth doing. Especially oh yeah, for the price. absolutely, oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. It's like fourteen euros. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Good price. Yeah. Really good price. Absolutely. Yeah. I will do it again. Yeah. Definitely. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> but this time, make sure that you know. Yeah, yeah. plenty of people. <laughs> there. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, pleasure to meet you anyway. Yes. Nice meeting you. Enjoy Thank your holiday. Enjoy your holiday. Okay. <laughs> I'll probably, uh, when can I watch the video? Oh. Okay. It's so clear, isn't it? to the nation please do not swear okay I won't. what do you think uh, it's good on a scale of one to ten um when my heart's beating i'll give it a seven right now <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh time for beer then uh yeah time for beer beer o'clock <laughs> right let's go <laughs> beer o'clock hi what do you think of my new uh, abode yeah. it's not bad mate i do have a lick of paint or something from van life to castle life. <laughs> and some it's wheels. immaculate though, isn't it? The brickwork is amazing. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's pretty stunning. Beer o'clock. 